So welcome to our Genoa 50 foot sun odyssey. We can't wait to show you around. But first, we're doing Sydney to Hobart in reverse. left our 50-foot yacht Takana on the hard stand in Melbourne and we've caught a flight interstate to Tasmania where we're going to help sail an ex-yacht, Son of Sam, all the way from Hobart to Sydney, a three-day, 665 nautical mile trip. We endure up to 35 knot gusts and five metre seas. And we're currently on night long. Once we got comfortable, night shift was a breeze. It's about 12.30 in the morning and I think it's around 15 degrees at the moment. We're just off the coast of New South Wales. Now we're about to watch James Bond. Okay, so I'll show you where we are right now. This is our, I don't remember where the bloody light is, hang on. This is our <laughs> bunk. As we sailed through the Tasman Sea, John's 95-year-old granddad sent his love. Yeah, looks like it's got some good gear there. They've got matching gear. Have they? Yeah. Red and black. Johnny's favourite colours. Yeah, that was a good experience for on that. A good job, that thing. Meanwhile, I had my first skew before we were greeted. Oh my god, look how many there are over there as well! By the biggest pot of dolphins we had ever seen. There must be a hundred of them, surely! Whales too. Before we finally made it to calm waters and entered Sydney Harbour smiling. Meanwhile, back in Melbourne while we were away, Takana's hull was painted with anti-foul. It's the big reveal. <laughs> what good. colour is it? Ooh. Uh, navy blue. Nice! Oh, thanks, John. It looks so good. The anti-foul will reduce the amount of marine growth on the hull for the next 12 to 18 months. And while we're here, we put on a new anode. It's a sacrificial mount that reduces corrosion. Everything seemed to be pointing in the right direction. <laughs> I asked John if he could just do something while the sun was setting. And so he points. John. Just a couple of days before Takana gets put back in the drink, we got cracking. I'm about to work at the back here at the transom. Yeah, it's a long way down. Here comes John. He's getting ready to polish the sides while I'm taking off the teak oil. It was like this before we purchased the boat. Just to give you an idea of what I'm doing, <sighs> this is such a grueling job. I can't even begin to tell you. See? like all these drip marks all along here this is the teak oil it is everywhere around the entire deck you can see it all along here what i have to do is get a clean part of the cloth and put this gun wash it absolutely stinks and so from there to there just that little slither took seconds <laughs> we really go through the gloves as well so I have purchased these double lined PVC gloves because the other chem gloves that I was getting were just getting eaten away by the gun wash. It is so potent. If you're gonna use teak oil, make sure you tape all the fiberglass off before you start. This is about the third day that I've spent doing this now. We're slowly, slowly getting there. And then John thought it was a good idea to take off our old Takana decals. And did you warn me? Yeah. No, you didn't. You just did it. Let's get stuff done. Takana may be looking a little bare right now, but she's been waxed and she's about to get put back in the water. It was time to go home before we prepare for our first yacht race in the bay. We 
were invited to go yacht racing. So the boat was called Veloce. There were eight of us on board and the race went for four hours all through Port Phillip Bay. We had a really good crew, but we were completely out of our depth. But it was a really, really great day out on the water and just to, I guess, refine some of those skills and practice some skills as well. Our arms are just killing us, well, mine are and my back. We may not have won the race, but this, this achievement was a huge win. Girl, One of our biggest projects was about to begin in the water, removing the staunchions and their backing plates. Gaining access to them isn't easy. So we were trying to take this entire cabinet out of the bathroom to access the staunchion, which is like somewhere in here. And then John realized after about 45 minutes of stuffing around, that somehow he could just reach it. Oh my gosh, thank goodness you've got long arms. I feel like I'm doing like a pregnancy test on a giraffe or something. Get all the rust falling down. See this bit here? Oh yeah. It's stuck to the hull. Oh, okay. So I'm trying to like snap it off it. So all right. It can just fall off. John couldn't see what he was doing, so we came up with a genius idea. Can you just move it to the side a bit? Yeah. So this is such a tight spot that we're using my camera on my phone to FaceTime John so he can actually see what he's doing on the other side. Oh, on the other side of the boat. You just went down the side of the boat? Yeah, I did. That's the... Oh my gosh. Whoa. Out. It's just going to take the peg. Whoa, is that how much water's coming off of it? Mm -hmm. It was time to order 16 new stainless steel plates. John drew the dimensions and got them custom made. We then took out the staunchions, sanded the bases back. <laughs> and got them electro-polished to remove all that rust. They transformed, looking brand spanking new, but the bases went cloudy. This was a big problem. Show me one of those ones. Don't drop it in the water. <laughs> and John is now rectifying the situation. It is a draining one. They're just cut and then I have to polish them. It was time to secure them in place. John was below tightening. Uh, yep, yep. Go for it. While I was above holding the base in place. Because it's going to tilt, tilt it. Do you know what I mean though? Like if you let this down, it'll, it'll tilt it this way. Yeah, gotcha. So just hold that up. All right. And you want to keep that in tight. Yeah. Watch it straight. Thanks. Cool. You all good? Yep. <laughs> so at least I thought. Oh, stop. Just one sec. Sorry. Oh, damn it. Right? Uh, yep. It's just like lifting. If you can do it a bit slower, that would be great. Just stop. Just stop. Does it matter that the sticker flex is going up and down, up and down? Okay, two things. One, sticker flex is a white gooey sealant. And two, it's actually not called sticker flex. Is it not called sticker flex? No, sticker, S-I-K-A. Show me, I don't believe you. Show me what it's called. Hey Scotty, is it sticker flex or sicker flex? Sicker. <laughs> uh. You're so mean to me. Hang on, can I just see that it's straight? Oh. oh, hang on. Sorry. For six hours or so, we sicker-flexed every staunch and base. Whoa, John, stop. Like these boats are about to crash into each other. Hang on a second. Coming up next, we get a call we've been desperately waiting for. Okay, we have to move the boat at eight o'clock, John. No sleeping in tomorrow. <laughs> so the master's going in. And we take Takana out for our maiden sail. 